I didn't, I messed it up, no. Welcome everybody to the last game of the evening. I'm your DM for, for this show, Chris Perkins. And before everybody else at the table here introduces themselves and their characters, I just want to give a shout out to Ben Looms of Sirenscape for providing yeah. our music yeah. and sound effects. Yeah. Yes. All right, so as you introduce yourselves, once you're done, I would like each of you to roll a d20. Oh. <laughs> Get to it. Getting right to it. Well, Get all right. to it. Well, we'll take this one at a time and we'll start. You know that if I roll a d20, it's not going to go well. I know. I'm counting I... on it. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Uh, I'm Anna Prosser. I play with this guy a lot. Uh, you may know me from Dice Camera Action. Uh, and my character, Evelyn Marthane, will be playing today, even though she's at level six, and I don't even know how that works anymore. Uh, but yeah. I rolled a 14. OK, that's how many hit points you have. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. So you can, just, you can just keep that die turned up if you want. OK, yeah. I mean, oh. he's, he's getting right into it today. Dave? <laughs> <laughs> that's not pressure. No, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, B. Dave Walters. I write a little comic book called Dungeons and Dragons A Dark and Wish. Woo -woo. Uh, <laughs> I love you back! Uh, I, I, I stream. I'm on, I'm on a couple shows. I do a couple of things. And today I will be playing Nosia, the evil human bod. Woo! And uh, I've got uh, 20. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Dave? <laughs> Correction, the cowardly, short-lived. <laughs> Nosia of the one hit point. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Hey, there's nowhere to go but up, you guys. So, yeah, yeah. Right, we're good, yeah. Um, I'm Deborah Ann Wool, and I am playing Twiggy. <laughs> who's a really dark, mean, sad, evil little. No, she's all ball of light and sunshine and wonder and rainbows. Um, here we go. 11. <laughs> Yay! Uh, my name is Jim Zub. And I write the uh, Dungeons and Dragons comic series, and we just announced Infernal Tide and Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons 2. And I'm playing Minsk. <laughs> and I'm here with my faithful hamster. <laughs> Giant space hamster. I will roll it. <laughs> what is funny? 20! Yeah. <laughs> what? It's good. I have a cloak. It's good. <laughs> My name is Matthew Mercer and. <laughs> I'm living my Baldur's Gate mid 2000s <laughs> loving dream as Boo, the giant miniature space hamster. Yeah. <laughs> Alongside my, well, the ward I have to protect. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you don't have to roll. I don't have to roll. I get, you have one hit point. <laughs> Euros alive as a hamster! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I thought you were going to have more than me. So I'm, I'm, we're good now. Perfect. Uh, hi, I'm Mika Burton. Uh, uh, I do cosplay stuff, and I work with Overwatch League, and uh, I'm playing Nymeria, a sorcerer tiefling who just really wants to have a good time today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 16, that's not bad. No, <laughs> that's good. Could be considerably worse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> before, we, before I said that, hello, I'll be down there. <laughs> before we set the scene, I have a bunch of soul coins, oh. but I don't want to spoil the mechanics of the soul coins, so what I'm going to do instead is use them as mercy coins. Oh. And I'm going to give one to every one of my players, <laughs> which they can cash in <laughs> if they want the DM to show them mercy. Oh. 
Oh. Just hold on to mine. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, you can just keep it now. Leave it to Chris. What? Oh. Play Dungeons and Dragons, they said. It's so much fun, they said. <laughs> Thank I you. I am the worst Watch DM you ever have. <laughs> Giving us mercy. What did you do with Chris Perkins? <laughs> <laughs> just gave us a mechanic to beg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's my Chris Perkins. Yeah. <laughs> what crazy bastard came up with these? <laughs> oh, wait, it was me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look to thyself, Minsk. <laughs> Adventurers from all over the multiverse have been drawn to Avernus by forces they don't understand, and many of them have died horribly. But a few have lived long enough to learn that there is a way out, back to their respective worlds. An infernal war machine of great power, the power of flight. And so, a number of them, having come together, joined forces to try to get to this mythical war machine. Begging, scraping their way across the Avernian blasted landscape, making deals on the way. Jumping from infernal war machine to infernal war machine, making new friends along the way. Twiggy. Yeah. You lost track of the last crew you remember being with. It happens a lot. <laughs> Quite often, in fact. But you found a new retinue of adventurers who had stolen their own infernal war machine, joined forces with them, including a very likable human barbarian covered in soot named, that you've come to know and love as a good friend, named Manfred Sinjin. Manfred Sinjin. Yes. Got it. Thus, when his head was chopped off, <laughs> <laughs> You felt the sting of regret at having even known him. No uh, sooner had you written down his name. <laughs> <laughs> Just erase it. To say it. For as your vehicle crossed the great expanse, you found yourself swept up in a dust storm. And then suddenly there was a flurry of activity all around you, like demons fluttering through the ash, just beyond your ability to see. There was a rumble and a crack in the earth and your vehicle fell into it, flipped over upside down, pieces of metal shorn from the chassis, severed Manfred Engine's head from his shoulders as he sat next to you. The vehicle burst into flame. <laughs> Wherever you are, Ben. You've all got your money's worth now. <laughs> uh, the vehicle flipped around down into this crevice and became lodged with the other crew members aboard and then burst into flames. And as you are thrown about the interior of this, you took a lot of damage. Yep. And you find yourself now hanging precariously from the top of the vehicle, which is now on the bottom of the vehicle, looking down into a dark crevice full of jagged obsidian teeth. Cool. Um, I, I, I just bounce a little bit to sort of test the structural stability of what I'm holding on to. It breaks. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> on one end and just, you sort of come off on one, yeah. now you're holding on to like a, almost like a broken rail. Okay. And you feel your hand sliding down its oily surface. Uh-huh. I'd like you to make a strength Saving throw. Yeah. You're At disadvantage. Sure. <laughs> Hold on. I need two of those for this. Oh. Every time he does this, he de-ages a year. No. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the joy. So it's a I six. I feed on their dreams. Okay. So you, see, you see, I'm using all the tiny little muscles. Yeah, and you feel your body just sliding down this rail toward the end. Uh, literally the end, it seems. But then you realize you can hear movement in the vehicle above you, like maybe you're not the only survivor uh -huh. of this. People rustling around in the interior. Uh -huh. They probably don't know your precarious I'm situation. Here. Um, I shout, hey, hey, I'm, I'm down here and I'm gonna fall. <laughs> 
the rest of you are all sort of clustered in the burning wreckage of this war machine, upside down, lodged in this crevice. And as you scrabble about, you can sort of see each other through the flames and smoke. This is not as bad as you think. <laughs> oh, it's worse. <laughs> Maybe it is worse. Uh, uh, well, I don't know where I am again. Eh, Boo, why don't you explore and scout around for danger not immediately killing us? We have no idea why we're here, right? You are trying to find this mythical war machine, but then you fell into a crevice. They're still hanging here. I need a little bit of help. Who's that? <laughs> Who's there? I'm a friend of my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is, but he sounds real nice. No, he was the one who was driving and doesn't have a head. Oh, I probably know that person too, I guess. Help, okay. I will try to help. You suddenly realize that a beam has impaled your leg. What? Which oh. one? Your, uh, the thigh of your right leg. Oh, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> like a leaf on the wind. <laughs> And you can't move while lodged in this way. Just a second. OK, OK. Um, I'm, am I, I'm still holding on barely to the tip you're, of this thing. You're not really holding on. You're just sort of very slowly, slowly sliding slipping, down. I can't take hand off. OK, right. I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm going to try and uh, so where are we? We're in the vehicle. You're basically in the heart of the vehicle. OK, I'm going to try and climb to the outside very heroically. OK. Yeah. Uh, you can make a strength. Athletics check or a dexterity acrobatics check to move through Strength. the tangled wreckage. Strong. All right. <laughs> not, not so strong. strong. <laughs> Still a 12. OK. 12 is, 12 is good enough to pull yourself up through the wreckage. Ugh. Now, are you trying to get to one of the sides of the crevice or just on top of the vehicle? On top. See as far as I can. OK. You see crevice. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> and. It's about 40 feet to the top of the crevice, and you see a raging dust storm above you. Mm. And you hear the sounds of what you would know as flesh being torn asunder ah, up there. Again. Yeah. Uh, uh, upstairs, not good. Lots of evil. I will take care of it. You all stay here. Uh, maybe not. I'm still slipping, so can I reach, oh, is anything with my feet? Can, am I too far from the walls? Your, your stubby little feet can't reach ah, the walls. No! <laughs> as can you I, slide down. So how I, far am I or from her? Oh, well, she's at the bottom of the vehicle, the and now you're on the top of the vehicle. Oh, God. Am I impaled at all? <laughs> <laughs> I used to assume that's already the yeah, quote I mean, of the game. No, quote but you, game. you hit your head, and you can't remember how you got here. Oh. And I'm with them. Yes. You also can't remember your spells. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna lay on the floor for a little bit. Just consider my options. Okay. So if I crawl to the end, can I get to her? You'd have to crawl back down through the machine to get to her. Okay. Okay. Really nice. <laughs> Matt? Awesome. So as, as my, my fantastic partner in crime, uh, not crime, crime is he? Minsk, <laughs> uh, sent me to scout throughout the wreckage, I'm going to go ahead and start scooting through the various broken pieces of metal and see if there's like a cable or a rope or anything that appears to be tensile but loose enough to maybe maneuver. Uh, yes, but it's all sort of tangled up that you see. But uh, there's a long enough thread of it that if you were to gnaw through it, I understand. We will do this. <laughs> uh, just make a d20 roll for me. 12. OK, you're gnawing away and making good progress. <laughs> <laughs> he is the capable one, just so you yeah. know. Uh, May I roll a strength check to try to unimpale my leg? You can, yes. Cool. Ooh, uh, my strength is now 21. 
That is enough to pull it out. You take three points of damage. <laughs> and blood starts to pour down your leg. It's fine, don't worry, I got it. And then it runs down the pipe. No! All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um. no, no. Come on. I, I, I try to put like my cheek next to it or something so it doesn't go past. To my hand. Sorry. It pulls on and it my just sort of pulls down your yeah. teeth, yeah. off your chin. I'm stopping. Runs down your lips. <laughs> I, like this. I, I'm a paladin. It doesn't have any diseases. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, I have rope in my bag if you can reach me. Oh, okay. Where's your bag? It's on my butt. I still have my flying boots, right? Uh, yes, you do have your flying boots. Okay, I'm just gonna balance mostly on one of them because that leg really hurts mm -hmm. and just kind of try to float down and grab something out of her bag. Okay, so describe yourself. I am a about five foot tall, blonde, curly haired, cherub, southern belle, wearing flying magic boots, <laughs> one of which is also a prosthetic for the lower half of my left leg. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, and I am wearing all white raiments. Not and anymore. Oh, I am wearing blood stained <clears throat> red garments uh, and armor and the bright sigil or the so now stained blood sigil. Yes, thank you. Uh, sigil of Lathander. All right, so you, you come fluttering down, and by now the gnome you can see is her face up against the pipe mm -hmm. to keep the blood from running down her hands. Her feet slip off the end of the pipe, and it looks like she's just holding on by another few inches. So you scooch under her, or yeah. to her. Yeah, oh, cute bag. Here, let me open that Thanks. for you. It's real nice. Okay. I get out the rope that yeah. she slips there's, and falls. I catch her. It, okay. You can keep the bag or drop the bag. Oh. Uh, Evelyn would drop the bag and go for the person. All right. Um, Twiggy, you see her yeah. chuck the bag and, and grab you. And grab me. Um, I reach out and I put my tiny little hands on her face and I kiss her on the nose. <gasps> <Aww>. <laughs> little heart eyes happen. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, thank you. My pleasure. We'll get it back. Don't worry about it. Oh, I the entire vehicle my mom. goes. <laughs> <laughs> and then turns 180 degrees. <laughs> I'm on the roof. I'd like everybody who is inside the vehicle to make dexterity saving throws. How about people on the outside of the vehicle? Oh, right. <laughs> I'd like them to make dexterity saving throws a disadvantage. Oh. Seven. Seven. Natural 20 and a three. Thanks. Oh. Uh, eight and a nine. All right, Boo goes flying. Oh. <laughs> Bouncing down through the vehicle. Careful, Boo, don't you damage rolled, yourself. You rolled a nine? Yeah. All right. Uh, you rolled a seven. 17. No, 17, you're fine. Uh, those, who ro <laughs> those who rolled under a 10 are thrown about and impaled on some sharp spikes. Oh, now I'm impaled. For six points of damage. Oh, good lord. This is not fighting evil. <laughs> this is and Boo just lands, uh, right, uh, Boo just uh, lands uh, right on your uh, chest. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next plan. Nobody move. <laughs> <laughs> but Twiggy, uh, you can see it's hard for you to support the weight of another, yeah, okay. but th you've got a very light person right, that you're yeah. carrying. So actually you're able to kind of maintain buoyancy here in the chasm with Twiggy. Everybody all right in there? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we better go up and help everybody else since yeah. they seem to be totally fine except bleeding out of my leg like a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, um, let's, let's, let's fly up and see. We don't have the rope. Um, <laughs> um, Do you want to ride on my back? What? You want to ride on my back? I'll ride on your back. Cool, cool. I'll, so I'll 
kind of climb around and try to get my arms around the top of your, your neck without choking you. <laughs> my name's Evelyn. I'm Twiggy. Are we friends? Sure. Okay. Want to meet my squirrel? <laughs> yes? Absolutely. Squirrel. This is Trixie. <gasps> There's nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> you only got the one. Yeah. <laughs> Twiggy knows no mercy. <laughs> um, You're looking at an empty I, pocket, Evelyn. Yeah, I open up, there's nothing in my pocket. And I look down, and you just see like, like the beautiful clear blue eyes that Twiggy had of pure joy darken. No. <laughs> and and, I, and I, I climb up like I'm climbing up on top of your shoulders and I go to grab one of the bars and I reach through and I say, give me your hand. <laughs> As she clenches the bar, her fingers actually crush it a little. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Evelyn gets hard eyes I again. Grab, I grab her hand, I go, you are very strong for very small. I, I like. I will not lose another friend today. Okay. And and I, I I try. I would like to see if I can determine if if any of these supports are more sturdy. If I could try to guide them where to step to kind of try to come out to the edges. Yeah, you can make an intelligence. Oh, um, let's say, Arcana. Arcana. Interesting. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is, it's a tangled Ugh. mess, this vehicle. Be really careful. Everything's Question. sharp and pointy. When you say impaled, is it like I'm on my back and there's something poking through me and I'm stuck to it impaled? Uh, it, it sort of <laughs> speared you, ah. but you can pull yourself off of it. You're not immobile. Can I try? Absolutely. <laughs> cool. Yeah, just make a strength check. <sighs> That's gonna be a solid seven. Okay, <laughs> you're able to pull yourself off, but not without taking a bit of damage. Oh. How much? You take four points of damage. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Am I in a safe place in this tangled war machine of death? <laughs> Relatively. You look around and without a check, you're able to ascertain that no, you are not <laughs> in a safe place. I'd like to look around and see if there's an, a clear exit strategy as tears start slowly sliding down my face because yeah. this is not a good day. So the vehicle that you're lodged in is clearly very unstable mm -hmm. and not secure and could mm -hmm. tumble down into the chasm if somebody just puts too much weight in the wrong place. Can I see Evie? Uh, you can sort of see everybody through the twisted metal. So everyone's pretty like small and slender and doesn't weigh a lot, and I'm just like a giant, <laughs> oh, you're big too, okay, good. You know, surveillance. Good, <laughs> yeah. I'm just a huge lumbering monster, this is gonna be great. Uh, I and so the, the escape looks like to be above you. Um, hi, um, nice lady with the wing boots. <gasps> hi, you. hi, can, can you save us? <laughs> can you fly, please? Well, do you mean like spiritually save or like physically save? <laughs> I truly um, am in hell. <laughs> would it be too much to ask both? <gasps> I would love to do both. Really? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Awesome, please, because I'm bleeding from my stomach and I'd like to leave. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna fly up, uh, I can fly up to her, right? If she can see me, I can kind of fly to her. There, yeah, since, since uh, Twiggy has sort of grabbed onto the vehicle Yeah, now. you've yeah. jumped off I, yeah, my I'm, back, I'm holding right? on the yeah. vehicle now. You can, yeah. you can flip. Okay, hold on tight. It okay. looks like you did. That's good. Um, and I'm gonna fly up and lay on hands on um, Nymeria. Nymeria. Right. Nymeria. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. All right. Um, and just like right on her stomach, right into the blood, just <laughs> 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 um, for four points of HP. Four? Do I have my normal pool? pool? Yeah. Oh, but I can do more. Yeah. Oh, fancy. I'm gonna give her 15. All right. Oh. oh my God. It's like, mm. So as now happy tears stream down my face, <laughs> I want to take a little rip of my dress and kind of dab your hands to clean off the blood. And I'm like, no, 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 no. That's that's unsanitary. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is. So few people understand. I got you. I understand. <laughs> I just want to take my tears and kind of like 
wet the, wet the cloth and wash your hands a little bit? I know it seems really bad, yeah. but this is a test. <laughs> and if we complete it, we will have the chance to be great heroes. So, who agrees? <laughs> Let me get this straight. Above us is war and death, and below us is plummeting death. No, no. Above there is evil, and we will kick it. And down there, I don't know yet. <laughs> How are we supposed to kick evil if we are getting kicked by a war machine? It's a test. We're it, failing it. I, <laughs> heroism requires deeper commitment. Do, can we have also deeper hands. commitment to finding a rope or something? I, was I like her. Are there, I like this one. Are there handholds or anything on the side of this? Like, is it a climbable wall? Yeah, it's a very, very rough, natural rock formation. OK. I sense this might be a rough, natural formation. <laughs> oh, Possibly climbable. I can you go you. first. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute! <laughs> oh, by the way, I am Minsk, and this is Boo. Hello, Minsk. Nice to meet you. Hello, Boo. Extra nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> He's so round. <laughs> To very carefully begin to try and hamster climb up through the building away from Evelyn. <laughs> right. I offer him my pocket. My empty pocket. Aww. He wants it. Aww. It was a good home for someone else for a Until while. it wasn't. I'm going to say, look into the pocket and kind of whisper in Minsk ear in hamster. Uh, no, I've already lost one rodent in there today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. Uh, Boo, make a d20 roll. 11. Success. You start to scamper your way up the wall. Looks good. But uh, it looks like, for you, it's a much bigger climb from your perspective. It's like a thousand feet <laughs> to the top. <laughs> so you begin to It's OK, I'm determined. Yep. Does anyone need help? My arms are string, strong. My arms are strong, uh, not string. Uh, I can <laughs> climb. Uh, hang on my back, and I will pull anyone needed to safety. You don't I, look yeah. so good right now. Do you yeah. need some help? Oh, I think I'll manage. I would like to try to climb. All right. Uh, so you're trying to climb, and you too, Minsk? You're trying yeah. to climb? Yeah. I, I w if, you, if the offer stands, I am not so very strong. Ah, come with me. Yay. All right. So I'm going to pull her, like, I've got 18 strength, so I'm just pulling her up on my back. Okay. And then you're, I'm just gonna start. You're fluttering falling. on your wings, Numeria. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to climb since somebody took my ride, but that's fine. <laughs> I can, right. I have 19 strength. If you want, I can climb with you. Really? Yeah. I That'd didn't nice. hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. <laughs> all right. As you all shift your weight on the vehicle toward one side of the crevice, the vehicle plunges from underneath you. I'd like those of you who are not already on the cliff face to make dexterity saving throws. No. So that's everybody but the hamster. Oh. oh. Uh. 17. Good. Uh. Yay! 25. Yes! Sorry, what was just straight dexterity? Dexterity saving throw. Uh, so that's 11. Mm. Um, I, I'm kind of holding on to him. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really that sounds like strong, advantage to but... me. <laughs> this is all part of the plan. Also a test. Hey, Dave. 13. All right. You all are now clinging to the rock wall as the vehicle. I got a nine. Am I still? Not quite all of you. <laughs> oh, but I, my lovely, merciful DM. If I have flying boots, I probably have advantage on a deck save. Yeah, no. <laughs> I tried. Okay, well, uh, what happened? So your part, as this thing pulls down, it falls down into the crevice, parts of the crevice fall away with it. Essentially, the rock collapses. And you're holding on to one of the pieces of rock that breaks off, and now you fall with this heavy weight on oh. your chest. Sounds about right. All right. <laughs> Uh, you land uh, amid the twisted wreckage at the bottom of the crevice and take 70 points of damage. <laughs> I, I found your bag. 
<laughs> I mean, that would be permadeath, right? So I should beg for mercy? You can. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do Or wanna... you can start making death saving throws. Oh. Oh. Mm. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll keep this as long as I can. Oh, all right. Oh, so no. the rest of you see this yeah. a small winged woman with this big giant rock just oh. plunge down into the depths and hear this sickening crunch. Can we see her? How, how deep is this? You see, like, little limbs sticking out from underneath the teeth <laughs> of the rock. But is it like, is it like 60 oh, feet down? Oh, I'm, I'm glad you asked. It's fall. about 90 feet down. 90 feet down. We will avenge you! Um, no, I'm gonna start climbing down towards okay. her. All right. Uh, what are the rest of you of doing? <sighs> I'm also gonna start climbing down. Oh. I'm staying up there. <laughs> <laughs> Boo is the wisest one of all of us. Mmm. <laughs> but that is heroism down there. Boo. Boo. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to guard to make sure they don't come down. Ah, very smart. He's my boy. All right, I'll climb down. As I'm climbing, I'm saying, just keep climbing, just keep climbing, 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 just okay. keep climbing. Those who are climbing down, just make a strength check, strength athletics check to see if you can make the climb safely. 14. Yes. Oh. It's, a, it's a one, but it's an eight. Okay. 13. Numeria? 13. You're good. I'm good. So Twiggy and Numeria, you're able to climb down, no problem. Minsk, you have a similar problem where the, essentially the crevice breaks away as you're climbing down. You find yourself thrown to the bottom. Take 70 points. Oh. Oh. I would like, oh. oh. <laughs> you're supposed to be stronger, she didn't. <laughs> Heroes never give up. Mercy. Thank you. All right. All right, uh, so as the bits of stone break away and you are about to plunge to your death, you are able to grab on to the rock and uh, although that breaks away, basically <laughs> skateboard that slab of rock down <laughs> to the bottom of the crevice. Ugh. Oh, I hate when this happens. Uh, Boo, you were right. You should stay up there. <laughs> All right, so Twiggy, Numeria, Minsk are all down at, the at this jagged, toothy bottom of the crevice. The vehicle is smashed and impaled on all these obsidian shards, and you see Evelyn pinned under the rock that fell away with her, <laughs> unconscious. You, my friend, climbed up to the top. One more strength athletics check to reach Carefully. the top. Carefully. Carefully. <laughs> yes. I'm going to use luck to reroll that. <laughs> <laughs> Better. That, that is much better. Uh, um, oh, Strength. athletics, uh, 20, dirty 20. You get up to the top, and as you pull yourself up and look around, a raging dust storm all around you, mixed in with sulfur in the air. But through the dust particles, at least 30 feet away from you, you can see creatures flying and tearing at each other like you're in the midst of some sort of battle. Is there any place to take cover? It is jagged and uneven all around you. It looks like some great force split the earth in a number of places. So yes, you think if you were to stay low and just sort of crawl across the surface, you could find other not deep precarious crevices, but gashes that you could sort of slip into. My small friend, would you like to take refuge from this storm? We will await our companions. I look over the side down at Mince down there. <laughs> I'll be right up. <laughs> Everything's fine. I get basically like just out of the eye line because I don't want okay. something to be like, what? You know? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good call. I don't go far. You're but, reading my mind, dude. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I too have sat behind the screen. Just for, yeah. So I just close this cover possible and sort it like. Okay. Make a stealth check. Dexterity. No, I, normally, I'm good at that. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, 
Oh, tw a dirty 20 also. Oh, yeah. fine. Yeah. No problem. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and Boo, did you want to get up to all the way to the top, or did you want to just stay on the no, ledge? No, I'm just staying in the middle ledge. OK, great. I'm, I'm not going anywhere without him. All right. And before I dive down to the bottom again, make a perception check. <laughs> this is a hell of a roll. These do dice are going into dice want, jail. Do you want these ones? I do. I do. <laughs> they, it, also, these are my swag bag dice. So I see what you've done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bad boy. Uh, eight. <laughs> eight? You okay. know what? Actually, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use another luck, because I feel like spotting something now <laughs> okay. might be relevant. Oh, uh, now. Better. It is better. <laughs> 12, eight. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 15. About 30 feet away from you, on the blasted plane, not ab and about the same distance away from the edge of the crevice, you see a very confused-looking squirrel. <gasps> trying to stay perfect, trying to stay perfectly still, and not get eaten by anything. And it looks absolutely terrified. It's shaken in its little feet. I identify with this creature right now. <laughs> <laughs> its eyes darting up toward the havoc raining in the sky. Thirty feet away, you say? Yes. Uh, I don't want to hold everyone up. I have to look at my. No worries. Here. We'll go back down to the bottom of the crevice. What do y'all want to do? Am I still suffering from spell amnesia? Yes, cool, from that cool, bang cool, on cool, the head. Cool, 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 cool. Love that bang on the head. Cool, cool, cool. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't get healed. Nope. Mm. Um. Is she? She's unconscious, right? Yeah. She is. She's out. She is bleeding profusely. Yeah. In fact, I'm gonna have you make a death save at this point in time. I was hoping he forgot about it. Twelve. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, she doesn't look good. But There's I'm a big food. rock on top of her. Yeah. This I'm, is the part where they tend to die. I know. Um, I can't move the rock. Ah. I can't but move the rock. But you look really strong. Huge! <laughs> I, I lay down next, next to the rock, out of, the, out of his way, but I sort of hold one little limp hand Aww. that's out there, and I whisper at her, and I say, it's going to be OK. Do you want to hear a joke? <laughs> <laughs> I say, I say, why can't you trust atoms? Because they make up everything. <laughs> Somewhere in some pre-death realm, Evelyn laughs heartily. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Okay. I have moved many heavy rocks. Uh, this is not a problem, I think, until it is. Okay, so I'm going to shove as hard as I can all my... Uh, Lifting is probably better than shoving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let lift rather than cr okay. rolling over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, strength I'll, athletics check. Sure, I'm good at that. Well, yep. 25. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Rock off. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> That's it's pretty much all I do, actually. Make another death save. <laughs> Oh. Seven. Oh. I'm kind of feeling helpless at this point since I don't remember anything and yeah. I, we're just in hell. I just kind of bend down and see that there's blood in her blonde hair and I just start trying to scrub it out. <laughs> I just start crying. I'm just like, you were so nice. You can't die yet. You're so pretty. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am actually good at climbing normally. If you all cling to me simultaneously, we will either be the greatest heroes or we all die together. I, either I, way, very exciting. I'm still smushed. May, okay. may I make an attempt to stabilize her? You sure can. Medicine. 12. Stabilized. <gasps> oh. um, I smoothed her hair back from her forehead and I said, told ya. Aww. So I am not, still unconscious. You are easy. Yeah. But, just, <laughs> but you're not bleeding out. You don't have to make death saves. OK. OK. Grab this part of my cloak. Okay. Uh, hold her. Who, oh, me? Uh, well, no. You, there is a way to chain this all together. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What oh, if I bag. put on her boots and I fly her up to the top? Oh. I get my bag. 
Yeah. Right. My purse. I put. I've got rope in my purse. Oh. Um. Um. I'm really crafty. <laughs> Can I make kind of a sling for her? To. To put like around well, yeah. his yeah. Yeah. kind of thing. Okay, so we tie some knots and 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 get it so her sort of cradle so that this can go over okay. your head. Got it. And she's like on your back. Right. So now I'm carrying her. Yes. Okay. And when then what are you guys gonna do? Uh, can I try and take off her boots and wear them? Yes. Um, this has never happened before. <laughs> this is new. Yeah. Pillage the body. Oh. <laughs> I'm not pillaging. I'm being resourceful. Oh. I'm being resourceful. I'm helping I'm her. I'm helping her. <laughs> Listen, she's not using them. She's unconscious. Wow. I'll give them back out. Hey, I Boo, agree. Boo respects you being so forthright and thoughtful. <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank right, you, so, Hamster. You realize, oh, she's got like one false yeah. limb. I, I kind of panic. I go, she's nifty. <laughs> and then I want to take off my little sandals. Okay. And then slide the boots on. All right. So and I, I just kind of assume... click my heels together and I'm like, fly. <laughs> <laughs> fly. You're like waiting for attunement. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. Huh. Well. As I was saying, grab cloak. Yeah. Do you think you can carry yeah. all three of us? Of course I can. You see okay. these biceps? Yes. <laughs> It's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great Minsk idea, but it's a terrible. Idea. Um, let's see. Dave. Um, all right. So up top. <laughs> you said it's thirty feet away. The yeah. squirrel. So, I've heard that nattering woman go on about this creature. It must be some value to her. I will use minor illusion to duplicate her voice, saying, "Come here, baby. Come here." <laughs> Nice. No good use of that spell. Um, I'm gonna have you make a. I am an actor. Charisma deception. Y'all, if I fail this role with this character, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start with that. No, no, no we're okay. All right, we're okay. Yeah, that's, uh, you... Don't curse us. <laughs> Come on. 29. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> like, be the twiggy. He's twiggy. Yeah. The most radiant look dawns on this little critter's Aww. face Aww. as it looks toward you with new hope. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Oh. <laughs> and starts to dart toward you happily, its faith <laughs> renewed. I dug down though, like I mean, again, it's like a moving target. But, yeah. <laughs> but I do pull. I I stop the voice about 15 feet away, so it's heading this direction. But if something else is heading this direction, <laughs> you hear. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I actually, because I, I can continue moving the voice, I move it up towards the air and like away. Like, come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. What? <laughs> like, yeah. All right. Uh, in that case, the. <laughs> You see the dust stir, and what looks like a giant vulture-like fiend descend upon the little squirrel. <gasps> oh! But as your voice takes up into the air, it gets distracted and swoops up toward it. And the squirrel comes leaping into your little cubby and then is astonished by what it sees. I was like, it's, I'm as shocked as you are, Creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Just relax and wait. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Make a super duper super. <laughs> strength athletics check. What is super duper? Disadvantage. Oh. <laughs> Before we die, I'd like to acknowledge that I put the boots back on her because they were not mine. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, how many are clinging on to you now? Uh, one. one. She two. 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 Th I'm small. Three. Yeah. I'm tiny. Double disadvantage. <laughs> uh, Is that a thing? Roll three dice and you take the lowest. What? <laughs> I don't. Remember, we are actually in hell. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know those coins are going to come in very handy. <laughs> <laughs> you got there. Double disadvantage. <laughs> you got this. Thanks for this, by the way. 
<laughs> 15, 18, 10. With my athletics and uh, strength, that's a 17. Ooh. Success. <laughs> From, you get up to boo. Oh. <laughs> As he's climbing up, boo's up there, he's going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel pretty good. <laughs> I, I felt a little Boo. double disadvantage, though. Yeah. So Boo can leap off to your shoulder at this yes. point. Welcome back. Now do it again for the rest of the trip up to the top. But, question. If I slap her around a little bit, will she wake up? <laughs> uh, well, this is hell. I mean, yeah. Um, do you have any healing at all? Nothing. Any, anything? Nothing. Uh, all right. So you just slap I'm her. I'm just slapping her a couple times. It shouldn't work. Hell still, really is other people. She's still out. <laughs> OK, boo. You have one of those coins too, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying we need to use it. We're probably going to need to use it. I have a plus seven. This is going to suck. You know. 16. Success. Oh. <laughs> no. Today will forever be known as the day Chris Perkins invented double disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> and I, Minsk beat it. <laughs> I would just like to state, I have been doubly, doubly disadvantaged. <laughs> but heroism is its own reward. Mm. <laughs> You all are now pulled up onto the top of the crevice, out of harm's way, so to, well, in, in old fashion. Uh, dust, storm, just roiling all around you. You, the, you see what looks like an arm torn off at the shoulder fall into the crevice from above. Huh. So that guy's of, having a bad day. <laughs> I like to look for our friends who climbed up. All right, make perception checks, those of you who are now topside. And conscious. Yes. Eight. Oh. Eight. And Eight. Mary, I'm going to say that your boots kick in now. What? Ooh. Really? So, time is strange. Time is strange. Oh, rad. Oh, uh, also good. 22. <laughs> All right. 22. Boo? 10. 10. Eight. Eight. I was seven. Seven? Oh, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're unconscious. Unconscious. Numeria, with your keen perception, you can see that there are still, in the, on the ashen ground, marks from where you are leading off that you believe were created by your friend. All right, well, if he hasn't died and been eaten and torn to shreds, I think he went that way. Seems actually, safe. With, with your 22, which yeah. is awesome roll, you can also see in that same direction vaguely, but much farther away, something is rising up or has risen up out of the ground. It looks like some sort of structure. Uh, that you can see through the dust and blowing ash. Looks almost like a wing. <laughs> like, a, like a wing of a plane or like a wing yeah, of a bird Yeah, almost like the wing of, a, of, of some sort of large structural, maybe vehicle of some kind, you don't know. It's just sticking up in the air at an odd angle. Got it. Okay, well, if he's not dead, once again, probably is, because this place is hell, uh, that looks like a place to hide but I'm not sure, and I'm scared, and I keep thinking that I hear people eating each other above me, and I don't really want to go anywhere, but I also want to get out of here, so like, can somebody smarter than me tell me what to do? We have to slay evil. I'm not smarter than you. Though. No, you're not. This really isn't helping me. Why is the smart, pretty one dead? <laughs> I say, you get cover. You say you see, you saw, you think he's over there? I, if he's alive? That's the only thing that I can see in the distance. We have to go. Oh, okay. okay. I'll, I'll stealthily sneak over there, try to go to where she's pointing. All right. Be careful. Make okay. a stealth check. 16. I'd like to follow as well. Okay. Uh, something comes down out of the dust and attempts to grab the gnome. Okay. I am not letting away. that happen. <laughs> I am uh, rushing it. It's evil, and I kill evil. <laughs> does a 14 hit your armor class? Oh. A 14 uh, does, just does. Okay. 
then this creature, this vulture-like creature comes down, snatches the gnome. No! Excuse me. I, yeah. I mean, do I witness this? No. Okay, sorry. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm hoofing it because that's evil. But you probably hear it because as soon as you're grabbed. Oh, no! You hear that sound. Well, I was wondering if I can cutting words the vulture before it grabs her. No, you didn't see it at the okay, time. Right. But everybody can roll initiative. Oh. If we're conscious. If we're conscious. <laughs> Correct. Look, oh I may God. be unconscious, but Minx is carrying me around, so. <laughs> How is a hamster faster than me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true, technically. Seven. Maria, seven? Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, boo. Sixteen. All right. I'm slightly faster than a hamster. <laughs> Minsk. Slight Nine. 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 <laughs> Twiggy. Twenty. Twenty. I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-three. Whoa. Ooh. All right, what do you do? Eldritch blast the beast. Ooh. All right, uh, it has, uh, it is partly obscured. So you are at disadvantage on ranged attacks against it. I just saved her squirrel. I probably shouldn't destroy her. <laughs> I mean, you are not in any danger of hitting her, oh, okay. but you have disadvantage on attacks against the creature holding her. Oh, okay, well, GG. <laughs> <laughs> One is very not good. Uh, 13. Uh, you don't believe that you hit with either of those. So, but you see these two eldritch rays yeah. of energy just streak past you, and the creature narrowly avoid one of them. Okay. Um, so I, technically I'm like grappled, I guess? That is correct. Could I use my action to attempt to kind of squirm out of it? Absolutely. Okay. Legs pumping everywhere. Yeah, is it strength, I guess, for that? It's either strength or dexterity acrobatics. I would love to try to squirm there. dexterously. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just straight dex, just straight uh, dexterity. Acrobatic. Dexterity acrobatics. acrobatics. Oh, great, even better. Uh, 12. All right, it clutches onto you okay. tightly. Okay. Don't uh, worry, little a, one. As a, mm, look, I can't do anything with a bonus action. I guess, could I offhand attack? Uh, to escape takes your whole action. Okay, never mind. Well, but, but as a, as a rogue. As oh, a rogue. you no. know what? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I, I, didn't I even while I try to see. squirm, <laughs> I, I am able to get my dagger out from uh, my purse that I got back. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna try and slash at its legs to try to see if it'll unhand me. Is it a magical dagger? It is not. It is okay. like a regular old little dagger. All right. But it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's high, it's a 22. Okay, you stick it. It doesn't cut as deep as you'd like it to. Yeah. This creature seems to have some supernatural resistance to the weapon. Okay. But you do damage it. Something. Uh, that's six piercing. All right. That's enough to make it drop you. Yes. Uh, so when you hit the ground, yeah. you Can take... Can I catch her? Not yet. Not your turn. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, so you take six points of damage. Okay. I slide in. Little dust cloud <laughs> <laughs> comes out from underneath you. Uh, but you are free. I'm free. The creature is now just kind of flapping above you, astonished, actually, that you were able to get free. Nemeria. Am I still suffering from that cool amnesia? You, yeah, ever since you hit your head, you can't remember your spells. It, Yay. Okay, so I'll pull out my crossbow and I'll try and, and shoot it in its heart, assuming it has one, because we're in hell and nothing has a heart or a soul. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, because of the blowing uh, ash and mm -hmm. dust, you're mm -hmm. at disadvantage on your attack roll. Oh. You know, normal. The 16. That hits. Yay! Oh man, there's so much in here. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yeah. That's a dice bag. I'm yeah, sorry, I'm so No, no apologize. That was beautiful. Thank you. Uh, seven. All right. The arrow sticks in it. You're not exactly sure where you got it, but it looks like you got it pretty close to the breast of this thing. It lets out a horrible squawk and then uh, moves away from you instinctively, just flapping its wings. As like it was surprised. Walk, I laugh. It didn't expect an attack from that quarter. Good. They never do. <laughs> they never do. All right, and then we come to <gasps> Boo. <laughs> this creature's floating above. You have no ranged weapon. It seems to be taken off guard. 
I just look up at you and go, I and understand. Then crouch low into Minsk's palm. Okay. And I'm gonna hold my action. All right. <laughs> ready? Ready my action. <laughs> Minsk? I have no ranged weapon. I have a ranged weapon. <laughs> Fly through, my friend. Go for the eyes. <laughs> This is a can't miss attack. <laughs> so you land on this vulture demon creature right on its beak. <laughs> and it just sort of turns both of its eyes inwards, cross eyed. <laughs> you go biting the eyeballs? I'm biting the eyeballs. That's what I do. Roll a d20. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were supposed to come prepared. I am yeah. sorry. I didn't even go with it. A six. All right, you bite its eyeball and it's supernaturally hard. <laughs> oh. You're like chewing, it's like chewing on glass. I can do that. And you're gnawing on his eyeball. All right. All right, the creature lets out a horrific scream. Damn right. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> then flies off. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh? Let go now, <laughs> Qu quickly. You don't hear anything, Boo, just blasting dust and sand all around you, whirlwind, the smell of sulfur, the shrieks of this creature as you gnaw on its eyeball. Boo? And your friends are, are distant and gone in a sea of dust. But it's no longer assailing the friends? Correct. Give it a tiny little hamster middle finger. <laughs> and just like backwards swan dive, like whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> Off of its face into the dust. The slow mo. Yep. <laughs> um, seeing the, the bird creature vulture thing take off, and now that I am attuned to these boots, mm -hmm. can I zoom up and try and go? save the small ball of fur. Aww. When you saw the ball of fur launched after yeah. this creature and disappear into the dust, you did fear for its little life. Of course. So yes, you flutter up. Make a perception check to see if you can find Boo in the dust. <sighs> oh, thank oh, goodness. Uh, 21. You do. You see this little hamster on the end of a parachute. <laughs> <laughs> Just. Just sort of blowing of around in the dust storm. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to, I want to dive towards him to try and cup him you because get him. he's being taken away by the storm. Yes. No. <laughs> do I catch him? Yes, you do. Yay! Then I want to float gently down. All right. So Numeria disappears up into the dust, and you lose <laughs> sight of her completely. I can't let you. That go. was a really good throw. <laughs> While this is going on, Dave, you there. This is all. Uh, very loud, you hear it all happening. You saw something, some sort of furry projectile. <laughs> You're not exactly sure what. You what do you do? You don't have any healing, do you? Oh. No. Okay. None of us do. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's the. <laughs> we get it burning. It's true. The one healer guy that I that is, that is true. <laughs> um, this is, no, I, I, I literally have nothing that can help you at all. Um, <laughs> So Nothing? The, it, I know. Oh. oh. If she didn't spend it, I'm not going to spend it. Uh oh. Uh, okay, so right currently I see all of this chaos happening. Do I see the building that is ahead of us? Make a perception check. Okay. I do not. No, you do not. <laughs> I don't see anything at all. The world is a greedy blur. Um, I'd, I'd like to, to stand up and dust myself off a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and. You guys are, st you're still lying on the ground somewhere, right? Um, I will go and spend for her. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Give it up. Give it, give it, give it. Good stuff. Um, right. So I, yeah, I go and I, I start, I don't know where I saw this somewhere, but I start trying to do like <laughs> pressure on her chest and I kiss her and try to blow in her mouth and all the things you're supposed to do. All right. You come back with one hit point. <gasps> and we're and making I open my out. <laughs> <laughs> and thus, a thousand fan fictions were launched that day. <laughs> My if, God. 
Evelyn comes to with shock and then melts into the kiss. <laughs> Something is happening. <laughs> I sense goodness. Numeria, you swoop down. I, as I swoop down, I see this happening. I'm like, aw, jealous, what? <laughs> But then I, I take off the boots and I give them back and, and I, I daintily put them on her feet. Right. While I'm still kissing her? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Listen, I want to be a part of this in some She's way, like, shape, or form. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's nice, it's nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> I sit up. <laughs> I wipe off the back of my hand and I go, high five. <laughs> nice. Good kissing. Thanks, you too. <laughs> And then I'd, I'd like to return, sadly, the hamster back. Uh. Boo, I do not know what they're doing, but I think they're healers. <laughs> I, I hate to interrupt, but I believe this belongs to you. And I just motion towards the squirrel. Reunions all around. Oh my, <laughs> this is the best day ever! <laughs> and I go, hi, Trixie! Hi there, Twerky, how you doing? And it's my mouth moving. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, oh my god, you came home! And I open up and she jumps in my little pocket and I close her. Whose fur just sticks up? <laughs> whoa, 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 it's okay. <laughs> I think the crazy person thinks she can talk to a rodent. <laughs> we must not anger her. She's a little off. It is okay. I will protect you. Is that who you were trying to introduce me to before? Yeah, this is Troxley. <gasps> Hi, Troxley. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> More limbs and blood and ichor and things sort of spill from the sky, raining down upon you in the gentlest of ways. Do I? Because the stink of evil. <laughs> because I was brought to life by the mercy of a kiss, do I have full hit points now? No, you have one hit point. <laughs> um, then I will, I'll be like... If somebody else gives me one of their coins, you can have two. <laughs> oh. No! Oh. Whoa! Whoa. I, I don't want to be over here hoarding my mercy coin while everyone else spends them on me. But I will, um, I hate to do it, but I'm going to use the rest of my lay on hands pool and say, Lathander bless me and lay on hands to myself for 15. Okay. What do y'all do? Um, I don't mean to interrupt like the kissing and the squirrels and the hamsters and the stuff, but we should probably not get rained on by pieces of people and go to that big thing in the distance over there. Just saying. Which nobody else has seen. So you sort of point in a direction. Like, you see that through thing? Through the curtains of dust and ash, you can see what appears to be a large wing sticking up in the air of something that's on the ground. Is that an evil creature? I destroy evil. We know of the flying machine, but do we know anything besides the fact that it flies? Like, do we have any description or anything? No, it's all sort of described in the most mythic of terms, vague. I don't know what that structure is, but anywhere's got to be better than here. I'm kind of sick of getting blood in my hair, so yeah, I agree. Is your head okay? No. Can I cast Cure Wounds on her head injury? Sure, yeah. I don't like when he looks at me like that, but I <laughs> do it anyway. I caress your head. Well, you can give her back hit points. I can't just cure, oh, okay. I don't, I never use cure wounds because I always use lay on hands. I thought that I could like cure the wound specifically and maybe oh, help yeah, you her can remember remove the wound. Yeah, absolutely. You can okay. cure, you can fix the wound. Okay, I'll do that. So how many hit points does she get? What do I roll? I never use one d oh. plus. Four. Oh no, I had all my hit points. You gave them back to me. But you can get more. Because... I can get extra. Yeah. yeah. Oh please. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? One d eight plus what? Your spell stat. Oh nice. Do 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 my six. <laughs> all right. So you get healed six hit points. The wound on your head disappears, but you've still lost your memory. Ah, shucks. <laughs> Can, oh, she's holding that coin. Yes. <laughs> I'll wait until the next initiative I know is coming. <laughs> okay, evil's clearly that way. Yes, 
<laughs> we are this way, so we need to go that way. I agree. No, evil is this way. <laughs> I know, and I slay evil. Let's go. <laughs> okay. All right. You march across this blasted land, avoiding pools of ichor, making your way to a great device, a wreck of enormous size that looks like a giant metal shod bat. Ooh. Uh, it's one of its wings tilted way up in the air, which is what you saw. Another one sort of dug down into the ground, almost like it crashed here and lodged at a strange angle. Um, but it does appear to be, for the most part, intact. We could probably just fly it out. Uh -huh. As the, as the yeah. wind sort of whips past its wing, it kind of makes this shrill sound. But other than that, the site looks desolate. Does anybody know how to drive it? I mean, I fly all the time. How hard could it be? I, I have no arguments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you are a pilot. Yeah, sure. Healer, man covered in blood. <laughs> we will do this. Yes. Clearly, we are meant to be the heroes. Well, I am. Well, I mean, Lathander is the true hero. Who? <laughs> You've never heard of Lathander? Hey, one moment. We'll talk on the plane, actually. Um, please, it's very thrilling, but we'll, in the air, we'll need entertainment while we fly. <laughs> oh, okay. That's true. You would want to focus on learning about the great morning lord. <laughs> I kind of lean out past Min's shoulder and go like, <laughs> he kind of wants to hear about Lathander, but isn't sure. <laughs> well, I'll convince him, I'm sure of it. Uh, All right. Can I just investigate? I just want to look around. Yeah. It's, yeah. Nothing here is quiet or mm -hmm. silent or I'm just nice. keeping an eye on. So. There are cavities in the vehicle that you can see into the darkened interior. This, this thing is about, its body is about as big as a school bus. With the wings, it looks even bigger. And obviously, the cockpit is up at the front where the head of the bat is. But make a perception check as you scout it out to see if you see any movement or other distressing features. Uh, 13. You thought you saw something, but you're not sure what it was. It almost looked like a hand withdraw into the darkness. Inside the vessel. Yeah. <laughs> and it looked all desiccated. Oh. Like I know this, this will come as a complete shock. <laughs> <laughs> but it seems like something horrible is waiting inside. Evil inside? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm Don't going sword comes thing. out. What's, oh, sword out. Yeah. I'm yeah. going in. Evelyn's all about this, too. She's like, all right. Yeah. She joins you. Uh, right. Before any of this happens, can I have my spells, please? <laughs> Pretty please with cream and sugar. All right. So. As you're walking, as, the, as these two are paving the way, leading the way, or actually the three of you, because mm -hmm. you're already up there. <laughs> Numeria. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, a fiendish weapon falls from the sky like a heavy mace, conks you on the head, <laughs> and you get all your spells back. <laughs> Yay! For a second, I thought you were going to say, and then you lose them again, and I was going to start raging. <laughs> you also took 10 points of damage. Oh, come oh, on! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it couldn't just be nice. It couldn't. It couldn't. But hey, spells. Yeah. Hey, spells. Hey, spells. And All apparently, right. you have a mace of spell granting. Oh. <laughs> Can I keep the mace? Absolutely. It's a big, thick, heavy iron mace. And now I am keeping it. And, and you can I'm see <laughs> it's got these sort of energy lines of orange Ooh. coursing through it. Oh, yeah, that's mine now. Nothing bad ever came from hell. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to make the best out of a bad situation, and even though I'm bleeding from the head again. Oh, my God, there's a hand attached to it, too. Hey. I just brush off the hand. Yeah. Free even hand. Though, yeah, free hand. Free hand. What are you doing? <laughs> that's, that's a lot of protein for later. Yeah. Uh, but even though I have another bleeding head wound, I got a new fun toy. Let's kill things. Yay! Yay! Yay. All right. We're back! Yay. We will never repeat those stories ever again, so don't tell anybody. What and that's said. how we saved the day. Yeah. <laughs>
For those who don't know, who weren't in the building at the time, the power went out everywhere, but we're back. Yay! Yay! It's so weird, a giant mace just fell from the sky right on top of the building. Right, yes. <laughs> that was a hell of a thing. Those Wait. watching at home missed nothing. It's true. Except, well, not nothing. Make a, make a made a deal with me. I did. Yeah, an infernal bargain was struck. I did. Off camera. Is, yeah. the, is the bargain being accepted? Yes. Oh. Wait. So, mercy and sunshine for the rest of the session. <laughs> Wait, can I take the bargain back? That's not fun. Oh. Wait. That's not how infernal bargains that, work. That's, that's not true. How <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. That is the most on-brand infernal bargain ever. <laughs> like, yes, sure. And you're like, no! Oh. I get cupcakes. <laughs> All right. You make your way into this giant metal bat, and you see that it is infested with these crawling severed hands. Ugh. Of course they are. Oh, I've seen those, no problem, they're friendly. <laughs> no, I sense they are evil. I mean, I'm sure of it, really. They're detached hands crawling around hell. Can I divine sense and see if they're evil? Yes. They're very evil. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right, they're I know. evil. I should listen to you more often. This is the, it's the most amazing thing this has ever happened. I kind of like this place. Let's kill everything. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Can we just go to town? Poof, yes. Poof, you yeah. just start poof, yeah. smashing these hands or yeah. like crushing their little fingers. Do you take that or two short swords? <laughs> I, I, I throw in a lot of like, don't lay a finger on me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got you in the palm of my hand. <laughs> As many of those as I can. Please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How are you dealing with the, the hand threat? This is mockery. <laughs> what manner of horrific creature would be stumbling about in a place like this? Look at you, man. You've even got a forearm. So you're talking to the hand? Oh, yeah. You're saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think oh, you owe me one of these, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so while, uh, while Twiggy is carving things up with her blades <laughs> and, and you're smashing things with your lightfall, your axe, you're talking the hand. Mince, you've got your sword out and you're just... Evil, 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 I'm just slicing them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Boo, what are you up to? I'm hype manning them. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of just like firebolting, like hand trips, but kind of like a flamethrower, just like a constant like firebolt, just making sure that it's kind of clearing a path and burning the hands as I go. <laughs> yep. Yeah, if you burn them up. As this happens, a figure creeps out of the bowels of the ship, ah. and it is a spindly looking woman with pale flesh and pale eyes, soot, almost like raccoon, around her eyes, Ugh. but her eyes are cataract white, and you see she's got this smashed up parasol made of flesh and bone that has coins like these hanging like tassels off of it. And she drops the parasol and looks at you, her gaunt, spindly face, aghast at what you have done to all of her children. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, Also evil. <laughs> oh, she is? Rips open her breast. You. <laughs> and you just see like stitches where it was held shut just pop. And really evil. <laughs> inside her breast is a skeletal snake Ooh. that rears up and bears its fangs. Super evil. <laughs> also, super metal. Oh, <laughs> What do you want to do? Well, if he says she's super evil, then I'm going in. Right. Just swing, swing. Oh, cool. I'm going to try to chop the snake off. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and make an attack roll. What are you doing? Uh, uh, I, if she charges in first, I'm just going to yell, go for the head, woman. <laughs> Bardic inspiration. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> OK. And have my a D8. 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 Um, can I, when he says go for the head. You don't have to use it, of course, but you have it. Well, when he says go for the head, do, can I change instead of trying to. I thought you were going for the serpent head. I was. 
Yeah. But I assume. You want to go for the head? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, you can switch your target. That's it's, fine. I believe in you. Follow your heart. <laughs> <laughs> or hers. Uh, yeah, her heart seems to be a snake. Uh, I, I'll keep going for the serpent. Um, and I, I am going gonna, gonna to take that inspiration to heart right now. Just, I, I imagine you said it's super metal, so I said, down, <laughs> you know, something super, yeah. <laughs> is anyone else, as you're calculating that role, is anybody else taking an immediate action? I'm going to try and hide, see if I can kind of jump behind something. All right, make a stealth check. I rush evil. That's you're all You're rushing evil. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and make your attack roll. It's oh, a yeah. nine. I don't nine. Know well. Okay. <laughs> she might be distracted. I might. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Uh, seeing as everything I do is ranged, I'm also going to back up a little bit and okay. kind of hide behind something. All right. Do I make a stealth roll? Yes, please. <laughs> uh, that's a six. Okay. How is your attack roll? Either? 16. 16. Oh, 11. 11. Mm -hmm. Okay, your sword gets tangled up in the, the metal of this gah, interior gah. Uh, And you're not able to actually strike a blow against her, but you strike true. Cool. Twice, apparently. Yeah. Super metal. You do have a second attack, yeah. don't That's you? That's true. Yeah. Uh, but this one does 12 damage okay. to the snake. You chop the snake's head off. Nice. I have a um, second attack. Can I pull mine free? Like, pull the sword free from the tangle on my second Yes, attack? you can no. do that. So, uh, rocking out to this metal ditty, go for the head. Uh, you fall the head. <laughs> <laughs> she starts, like, headbanging along with it. Um, <laughs> and she went down on the snake, and then now it's just right up at the the head of right. the woman. Make your second attack, make your second attack, Minsk. Okay. Ooh, that's much better. Quite. Ah, that is much better as well. 18. Okay. 22. Two hits. Ah. Damages. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be an eight for me. And mine's an 11. Okay. Uh, she looks quite hurt. Uh, you've carved her up. She... After seeing the snake cut off, the horrible wounds inflicted upon her, realizing she's way out of her league, she casts a spell. Counter spell. Aha. All right. This is a fifth level spell she's casting, so go ahead and make a roll. Oh, I'm going to use my last luck. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Wow! Oh! oh. So uh, from a one to a 19. 19. From a one to a 19, yeah. Wow, that's lucky. Uh, 26 Prop total. All that's right. Proper she luck. was going to teleport away, but she oh. counterspelled that. Like, no, no, my darling, don't leave yet. And then she, th she throws herself at your mercy, shouting, please don't kill me. Oh, why not? I will tell you how this machine works if you let me go. What you hold? Evil! Evil! <laughs> <laughs> does does Boo trust the words coming out of her mouth? Make an inside check, Boo, with advantage because of your hamster intuition. <laughs> <laughs> 17. Uh, you believe that she is treacherous in the extreme, not to be trusted under any circumstances. Can Boo? Numeria? Can I cast friends first? Sure. And then I want... Seeing that the hamster seems very skeptical, I want to like lean <laughs> in. Really, yeah, you know, skeptical hamster. I want to lean in really close and be like, "Are you lying to me?" Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I want to turn and be like, "Kill her, yeah, kill her, yeah." Just to run her through with the sword. All right. I appreciate she had to try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a it's a dirty dirty seven. <laughs> It's okay, I got it. I'm, yeah. 19? Yep. <laughs> 12. Off goes her head. It was basically you did it. Uh. I, 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 and the head, now severed from the body, just sort of rolls and then kind of looks up at you and it's still alive. Oh. And she goes, ouch. <laughs> that hurts. That's just unpleasant. Okay, Eva. I'll pick up the head. I'll just look at it. What are you doing? Where is your instruction manual? <laughs> uh, she points, but you don't know that because she's got no butt. Uh, but she says, "Right? Oh yeah, you ask." Is she still on? Does friend still work right yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah. We're like. For a minute, yeah. You have like a whole minute. Go. Can you tell us how to fly this thing? Yes. Are you going to tell us if I ask you? 
No. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> Now are you gonna tell I'll us? I'll just stick one finger up her nose. Oh. <laughs> stop, stop. We'll stop, stop if you tell us how to fly it. I'll tell you. I'm Boom. listening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then she gives you a series of very complicated instructions <laughs> about levers and pedals and switches in the cockpit. Seems reasonable. <laughs> okay, did anybody get that? She's I'm, a pilot. I'm writing it down. Okay. okay. The hamster raised his hand. And there does there needs to be a pilot, yes. Can the hamster fly? <laughs> oh yes, she flies all the time. <laughs> she says, it is specifically designed for hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> That's all but flying hamsters. <laughs> is that a lie? I mean, we would know if that was a lie. Yeah. Uh, she's telling the truth. Oh my. <laughs> oh. What provision we have from the morning lord because we have a hamster <laughs> with us right now. Not just any hamster. A miniature giant space hamster. Even better. I know. What Wait. about squirrels? We don't talk about squirrels. <laughs> can, can a squirrel fly it? Can a squirrel fly it? I don't know. <laughs> What a squirrel is. <laughs> <laughs> That's valid. Before we take off, is there anything on this plane thing, bird, bat, metal, bus that's gonna kill us? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, I say we uh, kick our head. Uh, no, put it on the dashboard. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> Some unlike, unlike a spring, so it kind of like bobbles around. <laughs> Look at our little hula body. Yeah. 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 Is there like a tiny hamster sized? Like, so, yeah, there's a, little, there's a little tiny hamster sized like wire helmet that you have to put on. And you can see it, there's like the skeleton of a dead hamster still. <gasps> oh. Every hamster has its day. <laughs> Boo. And this is yours once again. Um, I... <laughs> um, I also have Speak With Small Beast, so I would like to, to like direct to tell you the things that I right, wrote She down. has all the instructions. I have all the instructions. Yes, yeah, I would So I come sit with you and go, that is fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so I, was a, I was a big concern with the entirety of my knowledge here. We're going to make a great team it's on this. It's going to be fantastic. There's 11. Hold on. There you go. <laughs> Left two, up four. Right, right, all right. Got there. All so right, buttons. suddenly the vehicle starts to move and shift and Whoa. lift up into the air, swaying back and forth unevenly. Then you hear it flap its metal wings and kind of makes a grinding noise as it does that. <laughs> Uh, I lean in and I do say, I realize you are the true brains of this entire operation. <laughs> I believe you can do this. Bardic inspiration for the hamster. Nice. <laughs> All right. Roll a d20. 19. <laughs> Yay! All right. Everybody else make dexterity saving throws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except the hamster, because he's buckled in. <laughs> Dirty 20. Dirty 20. 23. 13. 13. Nat natural 20. Natty 20! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Giant hamster cheeks are just filling. <laughs> <laughs> you all knew this was coming, so you all grabbed onto something and held on as this, as Boo takes the bat out of hell. Ah. <laughs> Suddenly, like a hyperspace jump, everything just blurs past you, and boo, you find this thing is moving through time and space tunnels. Oh. And only space tunnels that a miniature giant space hamster can navigate. <laughs> oh. Yes! Yes, so as you rocket back and forth through tunnel to tunnel, trying to get back to where you think you want to be, suddenly you spill out of the tunnel and you see a planet below you that you are just barreling toward, and your vehicle is on fire. 
but the fire's not entering. It's just sort of covering you like a sheath. Ooh. Would you now like to hear about Lathander? <laughs> <laughs> this might be an excellent opportunity. Yes. Yes. The morning Lord shines down upon us. She launches into a sermon. <laughs> <laughs> As you all hold on for dear life at the mercy of this hamster's flying skills. Praise the morning Lord. <laughs> The it's world, not a mercy, it's a blessing. The world below you gets bigger and bigger <laughs> and bigger and bigger, and suddenly you are passing through clouds, and as soon as you hit the atmosphere, there's a big poof. You're lost in clouds for a moment, and then suddenly they part, and you see water, a coastline, a city on the coast, and boo, you have guided your way back to Baldur's Gate. Yay! Yay! vehicle comes rocketing down toward the city and that's when you realize that the brake has corroded away. No! Hey! Yay! <laughs> but the emergency brake hey! The vehicle starts to slow down, and you crash into the market square of Baldur's Gate, into the statue of Minsk and Boo at the center, pulverizing it, skimming across, and slamming into the front of a building. It wasn't that good, the statue, anyway. Smoke rising from the vessel. Everybody is still alive. You've come to a dead stop. There's all sorts of noise outside of sort of screams of surprise. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we'll stop. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I have to get the obligatory of the selfie of all of us. So all right, you guys dang. in the background here. All right, yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Gather in. Holy We're all together. It's a family selfie. Family. Yeah, here we are. All right, let's do it up. I think I can do it. I think I have to the arm. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Wait, you guys look like you're actually happy back there. <laughs> I got it. Yay! Yay. 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 Perfect. Yay! All right. Uh, Thank you so much for joining us Thank today you. for all this Dungeons & Dragons awesomeness. We have more coming up tomorrow. Also, remember, let's say thank you to Ben Loons from Sirenscape for all of these. Yeah. Yeah. And don't forget that tomorrow evening we have a rock concert wow. going on, so be yeah. sure to not miss that plan for it, and we will see you again here tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, Chris. Chris, Chris. Chris. Thank you, Chris. I gotta tell you, this was uh, the best birthday ever. Yeah. Thank you yeah. very much.